little voice problem, so don't wonder why I'm not talking too much on the videos. I'm uh, saving my voice to be okay for in a couple of days. Um, on my friend's channel, they're already saying that Bruce is depressed. Uh, nope, just a sore throat. I'll be back in a day. <laughs> So I'm going to be a couple of days that I won't be able to use my voice or a couple hours. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I'm not going to risk having my voice too often in here. Boy, it's, it sucks. <laughs> uh, we saw Jupiter um, in the last video doing weird stuff. Um, I'm thinking that the solar system, I'm not thinking, I'm showing it. The solar system is filled, being bombarded right now with large objects, whether they be UFOs, meteors, or asteroids, I do believe it's the sun that is affecting it. And the sun um, could be changing every planet in the solar system. They could all be reacting to it. We're looking at the sun's rotation, how we're seeing it go even forward and backwards, as you will see in this video. And uh, we left off with this yesterday. For those who did not see it, it was planet Jupiter um, that has a mysterious haze in front of it, uh, something distortion. It's actually, it's something and it's turning. Maybe dust on Jupiter, if there's disturbances, obviously because of the sun, that could possibly be what we are looking at. I lost my voice yesterday and uh, it's going to come back slowly, but I'm going to take it slow. I wasn't able to... Uh, um, put up the video yesterday no voice and i didn't want to just show pictures it's it's like no it's not gonna happen um these are the objects i've been capturing all week and i've been showing you them it could very well be something like an asteroid or meteor also or of course ufo it looks a little too slow to be a ufo eh? i don't know it looks like the right speed of a fireball entering the atmosphere of a moon the moons on Jupiter are all disturbed, so, you know, it could have to do with that. Definitely could have to do with that. I've been seeing uh, UFOs during the daytime. Are some of these UFOs fireballs? You know, because fireballs don't leave clouds, right? Seems to me. Seems to me fireballs don't leave clouds. Really apologize for not getting the video up earlier, but like I said, I have no voice. There's just no two ways about it. I'm not going to be able to uh, just stick up videos with music, but uh, I think I may I may have to for a day or two, but there's nothing there. So check it out. There's that object landing on the moon that I have showed you, of course, this week. But this one, one of my favorites, these captures, when I capture them, they tend to disappear after, right? It's like I show someone, uh, my community, this, two or 3,000 people maximum see it, and then the video should be put away and go by no that's what i'm going to tease the trolls about if they don't want to give me views if the hackers don't want to give me views i will repetitively bring up all these amazing captures until at one point my video is just going to be filled well like now with all these beautiful unknown rare captures whether we know what they are or not ladies and gentlemen i filmed the sun uh, yesterday at uh, at noon and i also filmed it at 6 p.m i want you to see the differences uh, of it rolling forward and backwards. Um, so objects lifting up off of the sun. I've showed you plasma lifting up off the sun. Those are the fireballs I believe you are seeing in the day. Come on. I mean, where else the hell do you want it to come from? The sun's exploding, all right? I do believe Artemis Project is going to be set back or maybe they'll never even go to the moon. Maybe they never even went. If they did, maybe they didn't tell us how they did go. Here are all the regions on the sun active at the same time. I'm going to get some music up. My voice is almost, oh, I was good. I <laughs> hung around for a couple minutes. Anyways, I'll be back to uh, to normal in no time. Look at all the regions, my friends. I wonder how it is today. It's pouring rain right now this morning. I got some music up. Please enjoy and thank you so much for the interest, those of you who are interested in me posting about the sun. Sunspots appearing all around the sun. There's even one spot here that you see that's not even been mentioned yet. Of course, as we see different angles of the sun from different parts of the world, as in the States are seeing it a little different. We're all seeing things offset to one another. 
So field lines are crossing paths and causing massive geomagnetic storms that could take up the grid. So this was all filmed in the afternoon. Now this is the six o'clock filming of the sun. A couple hours after we could see already those sunspots have seem to have risen a lot on the sun. So therefore the sun's rolling back, cobbling back. Yeah, now we're back on the moon. Sorry about the voice, everyone. Don't worry, I'll be back blabbering like I always do. <laughs> you know it. So what are these objects? If these objects are from the moon, doesn't mean they are, of course. You know, what I show and the theories that I share here are two different things. You can come up with your own conclusion, blah, 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 and send out for six years. I don't care what, what people think or they're offended because I th I'm saying I believe someone's on the moon. If they're not living there, they could be just, you know, doing experiments. Sure, it could be human or alien or um, some people tell me bruise. It could be drones. Yes, absolutely. We have no proof of any, anything otherwise. But don't forget, if drones are going into craters or coming out of craters, that means that they're at a, a really cool, <laughs> dangerous um, technology level now would they not be for those of you following me you all know that I get lots of lights on the moon and they're all different they all have many different characteristics like this one for example that appears like uh, not necessarily rectangular but visually we could see a rectangular or elongated light but inside of that light there's another light moving around and it could be the atmosphere around it. There's a whole lot of things that come into consideration, but nonetheless, look at the changing form, shape and size, the illumination, illumining bright, watch this at the end too. So whatever it may be, it's on the moon. I get the chance to see the most incredible things on the surface. Illuminated um, lights, these massive power charges, right? Like that's what it is, it's energy we're looking at right now. Um, maybe it's what's around the craft. Maybe these objects are invisible, but um, I have a lot of proof and truth, visual proof, of course. I'm not here to confirm anything, but uh, look at this. I believe that is a ship that appeared and flashed beside a star. You see one, two, three lights, triangular shape with a light in the center. Are they hard to, to catch? Yes, but not that hard to catch. And I don't have very many, many UFO images, as you know, I show everything live, but this, yes, happens to be one that is 
in an image. It's near impossible to capture just uh, at the same time a UFO lighting up. Um, it's not impossible, but near impossible. And here they are, of course, on the surface of the moon. Thank you so much for the ongoing support, everyone, and contributions. Thanks, everyone. Crawlface, Ernest Johnson, Richard Williams, Crawlface again, Dana Shiver, Paul, and all of you, Turgy Micklin, Dorothy Brandis, Stephen Porter, Hannah Cousins, um, uh, all of you who come to the live streams and contribute and support in every way that you can. Um, I love you all, from Floyd all the way down to uh, Regis Weishwe. Everyone, thank you so much for being here. Baby, even coming right here soon. Doesn't matter cause disclosure's coming soon.